everyone, it's Lindsay here from A Life Well Balanced. Today, I'm, I'm so honored to have Camila, one of my dear friends, on the show today. We're going to be talking about plant-based skincare. So we're going back to the basics and um, learning what we should be putting on our skin and, the, and what we should be avoiding on our skin. So Camila, thank you for coming and welcome to thank the show. Thank you for show. having me. Hi. So she has launched a skincare line, a plant-based skincare line here in Miami called Mia Erba. She launched this about a year ago, right? Yes, right. Mm -hmm. um, after doing three years of research and development, and she also is certified in natural skincare formulation. So yeah. she's the perfect person to be talking about plant-based skincare. So welcome, Camila. How about you give us a, little bit, a bit of a brief background about Mia Erba and um, your philosophy on skincare? Okay, thanks. So yeah, so Mia Erba, started um, about a year ago. I actually got a lot of inspiration from my sister who was an organic farmer um, and I was visiting her farm a lot and learning a lot about the plants she was working with. She talked to me a lot, a lot about their therapeutic benefits um, and although she her plants are, are for eating, um, they're organic plants and they still have uh, a lot of benefits for us when we take them internally, but then I started getting a little bit more curious about them and thinking, you know, how can I use them topically and how are they going to affect my skin? So I started looking into my skincare routine and seeing what kind of ingredients that were in it. Um, and that kind of just led to an overall healthier lifestyle. Right. You know, I was, I was paying more attention to what I was eating, how I was staying active. And then of course my, the, my, my skincare routine. It's something that I've always been very consistent with and it's always been important to me. Um, so all of this just kind of blossomed into creating my own skincare products and then that just grew into making a line that I can share with other people um, and that's kind of how Mia Arba came about. I decided I needed to, if I wanted to do it right and, and share with other people and make products, I wanted to go to school for it so I, that's why I became certified um, and, uh, and, and that's, how, that's how it came about. Um, the, really the way that I see um, skincare, you know, it's uh, the, our skin is the largest organ in our body mm -hmm. um, and we have to take care of it just as much as we do any other organ and it's important for people to understand that what we're putting on our skincare, um, on our skin, is going to be absorbed into our systems one way or another. Right. Um, so it's going to affect us and I think that's why a lot of people find that they have you know, ir irritated skin or, you know, they get a rash to something. It's because of what we're, what we're topically putting on it. Um, so it could have a big effect. And I think that I want to raise a lot of awareness to people as to why we're using natural skincare versus um, synthetics. Yes, which is a big topic, which is exactly why we're talking about that today. Yeah. And um, speaking about what we put on our, our skin, so you've launched with a product, which is, uh, yeah, we have it here. This beautiful coffee coconut scrub. Yeah. So uh, you've been telling me a lot about the ingredients that you've put in, um, the ingredients, the love, the passion you've put into this. And I wanted to start touching on what ingredients are in this and why you chose these particular ingredients um, to make your plant-based skincare. Yeah, so I started with the scrub. You know, scrubbing is just a great first step for your skincare routine. Um, it, is, it eliminates all the dead skin cells and helps to rejuvenate um, and, and process new skin cells. Mm -hmm. um, so the coffee scrub um, is, is uh, coffee grounds, uh, coffee flakes, um, Epsom salt, mm -hmm. some natural cane sugar, mm -hmm. and, um, and then co coconut oil and coffee butter as well as handmade vanilla extract mm, just for a nice delicious. sweet scent. Yeah. Um, but you you know the reason the way I put all these ingredients together is because the coffee for example is um, it's not only a natural exfoliator but it also has the same pH as our skin. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it won't leave your skin very dry or very oily. That's really interesting. Yeah. And it also has a lot of anti antioxidants, of course. And when it makes contact with water, the caffeine in, in the coffee is activated, and that's what helps to um, stimulate the blood flow, and therefore it helps to battle the cellulite. But that happens when it touches the water, and that's how it becomes an active ingredient. That's where we get active ingredients from. <laughs> so interesting. Okay, so caffeine is the active ingredient in your product. Right, and definitely. And that is what will help with what we know, I guess, 
um, can help combat cellulite, dry Correct. skin, all of that. Yeah. So as well as like the lauric acid inside the coconut oil mm -hmm. is something that's very restructuring. It has restructuring properties okay. and it's very obviously moisturizing on the skin. So after you remove the dead skin cells, you want to leave them with something strong that's going to help nourish them. So right. the lauric acid is an active ingredient and it's, a, and it's, um, and it's just help, helping to restructure um, the skin. Awesome. Um, the coffee butter is uh, also very highly moisturizing, but it helps to it helps with irritated red skin. It's anti-inflammatory. It protects the skin from harsh weather. Okay. So it's really nice when you, you know when you're when you're scrubbing. You know it could you might feel like it's a little bit irritating because of the scrub. Right. So the coffee butter helps to soothe it. Okay. Um, and moisturize it at the same time. Oh, okay. So actually, that um, kind of leads me into so. You just said it could be a bit irritating for your skin. So we all have different skin types, right? We have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin. Um, we're looking at if we have aging skin. There's so many different things, you know. Yeah. There's so many products out there. Um, what would you recommend your your scrub for? Or could it be for dry and oily? Oh, and yeah. No, the scrub is for all skin types. Okay. Um, it's, you know... It, it's it's moisturizing. It's got some that it's it's all plant based ingredients. Mm -hmm. So I would say that it's it's good for all skin types. Right. Okay. So you could use your scrub on all sorts of skin types. So what about um? So if I have dry skin in the winter, mm -hmm. let's talk about some ingredients we should be using on all of these different skin types. So we know and plant based. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So there's a lot to look for. Um, if you have dry skin, you can use something like avocado oil. Okay. Um, you can use something like kissy oil as well. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil is very nice on dry skin. Um, avocado oil is very high in amino acids. Okay. So find an oil that is, is high in amino acids and um, something that uh, has a lot of antioxidants and is um, uh, just, just feels very nourishing. When you put it on, you have to just pay attention to how it's making your, your skin feel. Right. But anything with high amino acids like avocado oil is very nice on dry skin. Okay. So now, oils. if you have oily skin, mm. then you want to use something that might be a little bit more astringent. Um, I like to use um, orange blossom tonic. Okay. Um, so that's like a, like a toner. I'll put that on in the morning before my, um, before my cream. Um, but I also use oils. I use oils at night because oil is attracted to oil. So on oily skin, you want something that's going to help regulate and balance the natural oils that our, our body is producing. And when you're actually feeding it oil, it, it's re it'll help regulate. That's so on oily skin, you want to use oils. And there's a lot of nice oils that you can use, um, like, uh, like, like rosehip oil okay. and, and uh, primrose oil. Um, Maybe even essential oils. Definitely essential oils. Actually, frankincense is great on oily skin. Yeah, actually, I think and we have. We have um, yeah, we have a little sample here, frankincense. Yeah. So sometimes at night, I'll add a couple of drops of frankincense into my into my um, my rosehip oil. Mm. Um, so I dilute it with the rosehip oil, okay. and I just put one or two drops. And I use that. Um, sandalwood is actually very nice on dry skin. Okay. So if you want to dilute that into a jojoba oil or something that you want to use on your on your dry on, on your face, um, it's very nice for dry skin. But it's also bat battling um, anti it's anti aging. It's battling okay. wrinkles as well as the frankincense. We have that one. We have the sandalwood as sandalwood well. Sandalwood too. So you so for anti aging, sandalwood, frankincense. There's they're really nice yeah. ones that you can combine with your jojoba oil and the rose oil. Correct. And all yeah. That. Just add a little bit a few drops and awesome. add them to your to your to your routine. And then you also have oils like Melaleuca oil, mm -hmm. which is tea tree oil. And this one's very nice for um, bug bites, for right. blemishes, for for rashes. Um, frankincense is also very good for uh, for scars. Okay. Um, so they have such a wide variety. Essential oils are you know very potent. A lot of them are either steam distilled or cold pressed, extracted okay. directly from the plants. So they're they're in the most purest form right. and they're um, potent enough to to get into our bloodstream. Right. Um, okay. So you know I would take advantage of essential oils in every which way you can, externally and internally. Right. But they're fantastic add-ons uh, for for skincare. So if you find a skincare that has um, uh, an essential oil in it, uh, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, we love essential oils. So are there any other um, types of ingredients for that we should be looking for or maybe we should go straight into what we should be avoiding because I know that's another big Yeah, okay. no, there's definitely things to avoid. You know, there's so many synthetics out there that are used in the mainstream to just put things together. 
Um, there's a lot of harsh preservatives, as we all know, and there's also um, just everyday things that we don't even think about. But for I did bring some examples. Mm -hmm. So we have your friendly chapstick that I'm sure so many people grew up with or yeah. are using. Right. Um, but chapstick has um, the third ingredient in here is mineral oil, okay. aside from all the other synthetics that it has. Stuff but I can't the, even pronounce. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the mineral oil is actually just a very dull and boring oil. It doesn't do anything for your skin. It has no therapeutic benefits whatsoever and just sits on your skin doing nothing for you. And then you have um, something like, you know, we all grew up with good old Colgate, you know, <laughs> <laughs> brushing our teeth with Colgate. This one, one of the main ingredients is sodium lauryl sulfate. Sodium lauryl sulfate is a known irritant in the market. It's very mainstream. Um, most of your soaps probably have it, cleaning supplies have it. So much skincare has it. Right. Um, and uh, it's just very irritating. It's known irritant. It's used in labs to, um, to irritate the skin to find cures for eczema. Um, so, so why you'd want to put that on your skin, I don't know. So try to avoid, avoid it. No. No to the SLSs. Sulfate. <laughs> sodium lauryl sulfate, um, sodium laurel, and sodium laureth sulfate. Those right. are the two, like, they're, they're called the SLSs, so there's something to avoid. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So while we are avoiding a lot of things, mm -hmm. and a lot of people look at preservatives in a very negative way, right? They don't want them, in, you know, they don't want them in their food. They don't want them in their in the skincare. However, um, preservatives are an active ingredient as well. Okay. They are there to serve a purpose, and they are protecting us from yeast, mold, and bacteria. Right. So if preservatives weren't toxic to a certain extent, then they wouldn't be. They, they wouldn't be active and they wouldn't be doing their job. Right. So their job is to protect and keep our skin care safe in order for us to apply it to our skin. Okay. There's a lot of natural safe um, preservatives in the market that that can be used in, in, in our, and are perfectly accepted. Um, so we use them in natural skin care formulation as well because we know that they're there to serve a, a good purpose. Um, you know, the, I, would, I would say that one of the things that really caught my attention in my studies uh -huh. is finding out that how little the how little regulated the skincare industry is in the United States. Okay. So there's um, uh, the EU is one of the strictest has one of the strictest stand standards, and you'll actually find that we use thousands of ingredients um, like hydroquinone, which is a skin lightening uh, ingredient, a known carcinogen. It's we're allowed to use it in the U.S. That's banned in, in places like the EU. Crazy. So you have to be so careful. Yeah, just read the labels and, you know, do a little bit of research. It's like, take a couple of minutes because, it, you know, ultimately it's it's for your own well-being. Yeah, that's right. Because we don't want to be putting things on our skin. We know that the skin is the largest organ of the body. We know that things that you put on your skin um, can be absorbed. So if you're going to be swipe plant-based skincare is basically the way to go yeah <laughs> when you're going with that yeah so we're actually going to provide you guys with a list of safe um of safe uh preservatives right that you can that you can pull up and live by those look for those on this on your skincare yeah look for those and we'll we'll put them i'll put a link below and that way you guys can download do some research and we'll put as much information as we can so you guys can also go delve into it a little bit more. Yeah, so a lot of these preservatives are derived from natural places like berries and trees and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So they have the same chemical compound, they're identical to what you would find in these in these um in the plants. So that's what makes them, you know, perfectly safe and um and derived from plants. Awesome. So now that we know a bit about um the ingredients that we've been using, what we should have been avoiding uh, I think it might be a really good way just to wrap this up quickly with some tips that you have for skincare routine morning and night because I, I quite like your yeah. tips that you have. So at, uh, during the day, I like to protect my skin. You know, I'm out and about in the pollution and the sun. So it's important for me to use something that's very high in antioxidants mm -hmm. and, of course, sunblock. Sunblock every yes. day. I, we live in Miami, so the sun here is crazy. Right. Um, so I like to protect my skin during the day, and I let my skin repair itself during the night. So I feed it some healthy oils, something that's very nourishing, things with amino acids, things with um, things that are anti-inflammatory. Um, just a lot, oils. I put on I put on a ton of oils, a lot of essential oils, and uh, so protect during the day and repair at night. Yes, that's a really that's, good thing. That's a good way to remember it. That's a good little mantra. <laughs> Repect, <laughs> protect during the day, repair at night. 
Um, well, if you guys are interested, we talked a lot about these, the particular ingredients that are good. We know Camila's is actually good for dry skin. You can use it on oily skin. You yeah. can use it on for helping anti-aging. Check out her site at miaherba.com. You can see her um, body scrub there. It's awesome. I think it's a really good um, addition to your skincare routine. And as always, if you like this video, please like, share, leave a comment, um, ask us any questions. If you have any other questions, just put some comments below. We'll answer them. It's a lot. There's definitely a lot to learn. So I um, hope you guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.